Okay, we're gonna finish this matrix, solving this matrix, and uh, the first thing we need to do, or the next thing we need to do, is get a positive one in that position right there. We would notate that with um, negative one, row two, multiplying row two by negative one. So go to the matrix, math, slide up to get to the bottom of the list. We just want to multiply a row. All right, in a similar manner to the multiply row add command, the first thing you need is your multiplier. We just want to multiply it by a negative one. Name the matrix is the second part of the command, second uh, part of the argument. Matrix A and tell which row you want to do this to. This is row two. And there it is. We have a positive one right there. Uh, now it doesn't matter so much with your calculator, but um, it can matter when you're cranking these things out by hand. Uh, getting this this diagonal to be a one, that's what we're shooting for in the end. All right. Uh, the next step is to get a zero in this position right here. And I'm going to work with row two and row three to get a zero. So what we want to do is multiply row two by a negative six and add it to row three. So, oops, I didn't save this this matrix, so let's do that first. So store matrix A. There it is. So then we go back to our matrix math menu. We're going to do a multiply row add. Our multiplier comes first, negative six. Name the matrix. Uh, tell it which row to do that to. We want to multiply row two by negative six. And we want to add it to and replace row three with the result. See, now I have a zero. Now, uh, the last step would be to get a 1 right here, although you can probably see, if you think about this, this means that negative 15z equals negative 15. So that means that z is going to be a 1. But let's get a 1 right here so we can see that what 1z will be, and I'll do that step again. First of all, store this matrix. And then I'm going to do a row multiply operation to row 3. So second and matrix math multiply row negative, uh, excuse me, yeah, negative, oh, negative 1 15th to that one. Negative 1 divided by 15. Oops, like that. Then a comma. See, your that entry doesn't need to be a single digit. Doesn't need to be a positive integer. Uh, it can be a fraction. It can be a decimal. It can be anything you want. Negative one fifteenth. Name matrix. Matrix A. Um, that's to row three. Now I have a one there. What that means is one. Z equals 1. So that means Z is equal to 1 in our matrix.